So once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the black corner, it's Mario Alvarez. And facing him this evening in the white corner from the fight zone in London, it's Kenny This contest will be fought over five three-minute rounds of full Muay Thai rules in the 58 kilogram division. Over to your referee. Final fight of the night here then at CFS 10. Hope you've enjoyed this show as we, as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. 58 kgs, five three-minute rounds. A-class Muay Thai to finish the night. Mario Alvarez, Kenneth Cruz. Yeah, this is going to be a big one. Big step up for Kenneth. Mario Alvarez. They call him the abuser. That's really good news. He literally does that when he's in the ring, though. He is a savage. Absolute savage. Great skill set as well. Entertaining for the crowd. It's been a great crowd here. Yeah, so Kenneth Cruz is out of some great fights lately so he deserves this challenge and it will be interesting to see the clash of styles and away we go five three minute rounds early left hook there from Cruz Alvarez loves to walk forwards the taller man out the two here Loves the clinch, loves the elbow. Oh, Going to pull his man off the ropes there. Just settles into the fight really quickly, doesn't he? Looks immediately composed. Oh, heavy body shot. Nice long guard there from Alvarez. Chopping in with that elbow. Cruz firing the punch in. Through the guard at nice angles. It's a good... Good hands. Good opportunity for him. Kenneth Cruz got good boxing. Yeah, they all kind of seem to be bouncing off at the moment, though, don't they? And Alvarez just keeps coming forward. Just got to watch those elbows. Alvarez is very dangerous. Oh, and the left hand as well. Cruz trying to kick his way out of trouble, but Alvarez not phased by his power whatsoever. Nah, he's walking through everything, mm. look. That high left hand just stops the hook from landing. Alvarez still very relaxed. Nice variation with the hands from Alvarez. And then the knee as well. It's the pressure game from Alvarez. It's just so much just comes forward the whole time nothing you throw at him puts him off he will stalk you and walk oh. you down now that's a sign <laughs> he says come on in that that's a sign that'll probably worry Kenneth Cruz because he's caught him flush with a left hook there in the eight ounce gloves and Alvarez has just kept walking forward completely unaffected by the power Likewise, Alvarez doesn't want to spend too much of this fight walking forward with his chin up, especially when Cruz is accurate with the hands. Oh, yeah, lovely knee. Cruz working the boxing. End of round one.
Second round, Mario Alvarez continuing to walk and stalk and gets an early left hand off. I love his defense, Mario Alvarez. Although he's such an offensive and attacking fighter, his defense is beautiful. His long guard and his movement is so precise. Oh, we're looking to get through with that uppercut. Ooh, lovely knee there. The long knee of Mario Alvarez is dangerous. And just that little lean to take the kick away from Cruz. But look at that defense. He's closed, he's tight, he's clean. Cruz is struggling to get through. Yeah, he's not scared to absorb contact, is he? He's happy for Cruz to throw because he knows it's going to come off an arm or a glove or... Not going to cause him any damage. Nice hook to the body. Alvarez. Go on, the left hook. Oh, Alvarez. There's that long knee again to the left side of the ribs of Cruz. And just the way he bobs side to side, he makes good decisions, doesn't he? Certainly does. He reads the game very well. His fight IQ is wicked. Oh, oh the big left hand. That looked a rock cruise. It stayed up. And that big height advantage as well. He gets those knees high. That almost looked like he could catch an upright cruise with a knee. Now, Cruz still throwing, but no power in the shots now. See there, he threw that right hook to the body from way out, but it just bounced off Alvarez. You can see Cruz is a lot lighter out of the two here. Yeah. He can go lighter than this. He's holding a good account for himself. Oh. Nice. Low kick for low kick from these two. He whips that low kick across Cruz, but Alvarez unmoved. Oh. Another left hand from Cruz catches Alvarez on the chin. Just, oh, massive right hand. He just nods at you, though. Yeah. You, you hit him with everything you got, and he just nods at you. Just not phased by the power of Cruz at all. On the elbow to end the round. Over the top from Alvarez. Another solid three minutes. Round three, final fight of the night. Difficult to see a way back into the bout for Kenneth Cruz. But he will keep fighting, he will keep swinging, and he gets that right hook away again. But Alvarez fighting the fight where he wants to fight. Cruz has got quick hands. Certainly has. Cruz has got great boxing, but it's not really having much effect on Alvarez as he's walking straight through it all. Which must be soul destroying when you're getting really good work away. Work that would usually get you on top in a fight. But instead, your opponent's just hitting you with bludgeoning shots. Oh, right hand gets through. He's been attacked a couple of times there by Cruz. 
Cruz is starting to read the the guard and get through with some of these punches, but look at that. Right oh, uppercut from Alvarez. So lovely. lovely. Lovely uppercut in response from Cruz as well. But if you're Alvarez's corner, you'll be looking at this and thinking, he is going to come in with more physically matched fighters who are going to have quick hands. He doesn't want to get into the habit of shipping shots like that. Yeah, true. Hard shot to the body. Nice boxing and knee. Yeah, nice from, from Cruz. Cruz. Putting that knee on the end of the combo. Another elbow over the top. Looking to cause some damage with those, Alvarez. And backs his man up with a jab. Lovely sweep. Heavy landing, that. Big left hook from Alvarez again. On oh, the knee coming in. On the ribs. And credit to Cruz. He's really <laughs> dug in with that body shot. He loves it, doesn't he? Look. And Cruz trying to push through with a left elbow. Lands three body shots, then Alvarez backs him up with a high kick and then pushes the head back with a jab. Well, this is round number four. Penultimate round. Bit more action from Kenneth Cruz there in round three. Didn't have a lot of joy, but he doesn't have to stop Mario Alvarez. He just has to find a way to beat him. And here's the way of doing that through work rate and action, because he has that in abundance. He's really had his engine tested as they both exchange in the corner. Alvarez looking for that elbow. Looking to continue to physically dominate the fight because that's what he's been able to do so far. Yeah, Cruz needs to find something new to do here in round four. Beautiful sweep. Just a complete show of dominance of that exchange. Alvarez just reads the fight so well. Look at that awareness of range. Lovely kick. The referee will tell him off for holding the ropes. Touch gloves and get back into it. Better defense there from Cruz. Alvarez looking for that kick, but it bounces off the forearms. Nice counter left hand from Alvarez there as Cruz looked to kick to the body. Halfway through round four. Still one to come after this. Oh, 
lovely knee there from Alvarez. Cruz coming forward a little bit more. He just has to be aware of those elbows as he tries to work the body with the boxing. Alvarez will say, bring it on. They love a war. But four rounds in, you're boxing well, but you're not doing any damage. Is it time to look for something else? It certainly is. He needs to change the game plan here. Because despite the work rate of Cruz, which is high, it's high tempo, it's accurate, it's precise, it's just not making a dent in Alvarez. Alvarez doesn't move when you hit him as well, look. Yeah. Cruz is whacking him with everything he's got, and he's just not even moving. It's spirit crushing, isn't it? It's absolutely soul destroying. Your best work, not making a dent in your opponent. But he is high spirited, Kenneth Cruz. He keeps going, he keeps coming. And he'll feel like he's still in this bout. End of round four. Final round at the end of a great combat fight Final series round. here at York Hall <laughs> and Kenneth Cruz wants to go to war and rocks oh, hey. Alvarez who comes back with a right hand of his own. These two are going to swing from the rafters for this last round. Two great fighters giving the fans what they love to see. He that's is. What, that's what he needs to do. He's got nothing to lose now. Kenneth Cruz just has to come forward and fight. Bite down on his gun shield. He's a gutsy warrior. He's the smaller of the two men. Oh, Alvarez has just pulled him into the elbow there. And he deserves a huge amount of credit here, Kenneth Cruz, because Mario Alvarez is a serious, serious operator at 58 kgs. It certainly is. He's big, he's strong, he's technically good. And there have been times where he's really hurt Cruz, who, as you say, has bit down on his gum shield, stayed in the fight. He's landed another right hand. I think, I don't know, he's 54 too light, but Cruz a couple of kgs lighter than this. He's a problem for a lot of fighters. Be interesting to see how light Cruz could get, actually. Yeah. Oh, whips an elbow across, but again, Alvarez. It's like, oh, lands with the uppercut. It's like Alvarez's jaw has made a different Ooh. stuff. Bit of blood coming from the nose of Alvarez, though. A couple of those cruise shots must have got through. 90 seconds to go. It is tank emptying stuff from these two. Spinning elbow. He's out of range, but he's looking to catch the eye. He's leaving nothing in there, though. Yeah, that's what you want to see. But realizes that. Perhaps a stoppage is the only way he's going to win the fight. Yeah, Mario Alvarez has outpointed him so far, so he just needs to go for broke. Oh, that knee into the ribs. Last minute. Forty-five seconds for Cruz to rescue the fighter as Alvarez adding another victory to his increasingly impressive resume. Yeah, Mario Alvarez has got a great track record here on CFS. Becoming a regular on Combat Fight Series. And we love to watch him. Oh, boy, oh, boy, do we. The challenges will get tougher, but again, I think every fighter we've had here as Kenneth Cruz eats another right hand has stood themselves in really good stead. And we're looking forward to see them all develop here at Combat Fight Series. Well-timed knee from the outside there. 
Final few seconds. Last chance to dance. And the bout ends on the ropes. These two men deserve to hear the final bell. We'll go to the judges' scorecards. It's Kenneth Cruz under the pump for most of that bout. Still has a chance, but it's looking like Mario Alvarez. His great run here at CFS continues. And he's the kind of all-action fighter that can really, really build up a great fan base and really, really make an impact on this sport. Certainly can. He always brings a crowd. Everyone wants to see him fight. Well, the two men are in the middle, and for the final time, we're going to go for the result. However, uh, let's make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for both these Muay Thai warriors. Come on. And after five terrific rounds of Thai boxing action, we go to the ringside judges. For our judges to reach the unanimous decision, ladies and gentlemen, your winner in the black corner, Mario Alvarez. It's another great fight That's night and another great up, victory Kenny for Cruz. Mario Alvarez. Well, he gets the congratulations that he deserves. Dave Benson, let's have a quick recap on a great night here. CFS continuing to grow into one of the great fight nights in British Muay Thai in K1. It certainly is. I mean, for me, the comeback fight of Michael Wakeling was a real treat. I love watching that. Great to see him back where he belongs. Uh, there were some great fights on the undercard, even. We saw a great K1 fight with TJ Simmons and C. Evans. Those guys left it all in the ring. But into the main card, Alex Rose was one that shone for me. Superb talent. She's had literally a handful of fights, but she's in there like a world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Superb we're performance. We're Mario Some great Alvarez. fights later on. Shaq Davies. Mario. Zach Shabira. That was superb. Stoppage there for Zach Shabira. Two or three weight groups Dylan above what he's used to. And then just finishing up there. Ward versus Rion Wong. That was a real treat. What a fantastic match up this would be, ladies and gentlemen. Two brilliant fighters, both 